Have a Glamorous and cars, countless bottles of French champagne. Most people think the life of an actor is glamorous and exciting, and I guess it is. But that's just the icing on the cake. Underneath all the glitter, it's a lot of hard work, usually starting at 5 a.m. is, as I said, the caravan, where cast and crew together share everything from hangovers to Vegemite toast, washed down with the essential cups of tea and coffee. This ritual prepares us for the long days filming ahead. You have to be the best of mates when the wardrobe department is six feet square. There's definitely no room for false modesty. Sorry, girl. The heady world of makeup is otherwise known as the ice box. So the trusty hair dryer performs more than just one duty. <laughs> Some younger actresses seem to get all the treatment, but... They can't afford a hairdresser for me. <laughs> I have to do my own. <laughs> Bring out the polyfiller. <laughs> Here I am, made up and ready to go to work. And to keep this very expensive actress warm, I have my mega coat. Come and I'll show you how we're set up. What you see at home is the end result of countless hours of preparation, lighting, set dressing, props, rehearsal, and a multitude of checks and rechecks. Now comes the hard part. It's 9 a.m., it's raining, wet. The sun's gone on strike. And we have to pretend to be sweating in 30 degree heat when we all know it's five degrees and dropping by the minute. This scene's a piece of cake. We should get it in one take. Oh, my God! Why did you tie your silly old... My sister! Why did you... Sorry! Sorry! Well, maybe two. Okay, take two. Here we go. Oh, he's fussing about nothing. Getting you to hospital. How do you feel? Let's get the legs. We've got to get the legs. Let's the legs. I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it looks like this. <sighs> All this fuss about nothing. We're getting you to hospital. How do you feel? Any fitter and I'd be dangerous. Well, now we've seen true professionals at work. Let's see what they're really like behind all that glamour. Now, the thing is, I want, one of the questions I would like to ask you is, just between you and me, uh, who, who's the most favourite person on the show that you work with as an actress and a person? Well, I can't uh, keep that to myself. I want to talk about the mega star, you know, more intimately known as the mega, and we love her dearly. Her name's Liz Birch. Have you heard of Liz Birch? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Um, isn't it wonderful how people can be so spontaneous and warm when yeah. you're interviewing them? She's pinching me at the back to say that. <laughs> but I love her dearly. I don't know how she handles all those big words. Hacky <laughs> offer me on the epiglottis of the... all that stuff. All I've got to say is, will you have a beer, Fred, you know? <laughs> Who else she have with all the cast on the, on the show? Who, who's your favourite um, actor, actress that you've worked with? Um, well, I think, oh, to, be, to be fair and diplomatic, all the actresses... Uh, in fact, all the cast are, are lovely to work with, Liz. Mm. Tell me, what does the director of photography do? A DOP, as we say in the business. Uh, well, he looks after um, uh, the question. And uh, who would you say is the actress that, or actor that you've worked with over that ten years that you've enjoyed working with the most? Oh, I think Dusty the Kelpie would probably win that hand. <laughs> I believe that you can cry on cue. Yes, I can. Perhaps we could have a little demonstration. Oh, no, well, I need a, you know, a few moments. I could hit you. No. <laughs> now, Andrew, um, three years ago you were in The Flying Doctors. Besides coming back and wanting to work with me, why did you come back? Why did I come back? Yeah. Oh, it's like coming back to your old uh, family home, really, isn't it? Everybody's around, all your family, the money, Liz. 